Hey guys, so I'm out here at the um, One Step Strike event, the One Step Epic one, the so-called hardest one ever, um, hopefully. You know, if you're just a tiny bit lucky, this should be no problem for you. So, all right, here's my team. Spongesuchus, Dimorphodon, level one Dimorphodon still. I haven't leveled that thing yet. Uh, Sifter and Sikamimus. Hopefully, what happens is it's gonna start with Dialorakyrus. I heard a lot of people that it starts with Dialorakyrus. So that's why I'm starting with Spongesuchus so I could have enough damage to take out Dialorakyrus. And I could save Sukitator for Dialorano so it can instant cripple so the Dialorano for sure dies on turn 3. So here's the game plan. Throw in uh, Spontosuchus, Lethal Wound. Um, swap in Dimorphodon. Uh, that requires dies. And then throw out Sukitator, Lethal Wound. Swap in Sukumimus. Sukumimus dies. Instant cripple the Dilorano, and hopefully it dies. Or I could use Spontosuchus and take out the Dilorano, it depends. I mean, it's safer to do it with Spontosuchus, but I don't know. Alright, hopefully it's Dilorakyrus. It is Dilorakyrus. And I have to restart my game for some reason. Well, not for some reason, because of that, you know, Strike Tower bug. Uh, I can't. I don't know why they haven't fixed this one yet. <laughs> but hey. What's a, uh, what's a good strike tower without this, the strike tower bug? <laughs> There's construction around, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Alright, lethal wound. It's gonna distracting strike me, okay. And that's why I had to use Bond to Sukas, cause... Sukhtar doesn't do enough damage to take out Dalarokairos, actually. Which is funny. Slash not really funny. Slash disastrous. Alright, come on, Dimorphodon. And hopefully it doesn't swap here. Yes, it didn't swap. Goodbye, Dalarokairos. Bam. Ba -ba 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 Bam. Valoranosaurus. Sictator. Alright, lethal wound. This one has a bit more HP. 5000 HP, in fact. Whoa. I might have to use Bond to Six. My Sictator is super low level. <laughs> I don't know, I might have to do some calculations on that. 261 HP left. It does... 1.46k. Uh, so that's what, a thousand... Mm, that's 2,800 and... That's 2,900 damage. And 10% of that is... 200... Oh no, it should be enough to take me out there. Oh well, I'm gonna take us back, back again. Put him back. I almost did lethal wound, which... Which would be disastrous if it didn't do that one times damage. So the one times damage on Lethal Wound really helps. Alright, I think we're done. Success. Okay, hopefully it's something good in here. I'd like some wrecks. I'd like some wrecks. Okay, coins. Parasaur. Uh, Dymo Gen 2. Very Gen 2. Rex Gen 2! That's what I'm talking about. Oh. I was wondering, someone someone was talking about they got some Rex Gen 2 earlier, I was like, oh, I'd love some Rex Gen 2. And here, here we go, got Rex Gen 2. Power Raptor didn't need that. Mono didn't need that as well. But I got some Rex Gen 2, so that's fine. That fix, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I, I'm even expecting to get any uh, decent or usable epics. At least for me. I'm gonna switch my team back before I go into the arena and 
role with this team. Um, no, Radstick is part of my team. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm not using Taunt Direct at the moment because I want to get it at least one level higher before I put it on my team. Just so it beats up um, some newly created uh, doors. All right, let's one more fuse left. Come on, give me a twenty. Ah, couldn't do it for the video. Couldn't do it for a video. Oh well. Let's see. Do I have anything interesting here? Let's do some. Let's do some interrupter fuse. Oh, never mind. Let's do some indominus fuses first. Some indominus, one indominus fuse. And it's a twenty. That's another ten away from a unique fuse. <sighs> you gotta screw me over on the videos like this, eh? Uh, anyways, that's that's a strike tower. That's a strike tower. I still need to do my um, event dinos. Um, by the way, I am doing all racks now. Um, I got my track source to level 25, so I don't need to worry about Anki anymore. So I'm going full full uh, racks for the rest of the uh, attempts. Which how many do I even have left? I can't. Here. Okay, four four more attempts on racks. So you know, assuming 200 per. 800 Rex DNA? I'm, I'm trying to get my Indoraptor up a level. Um, cause... I'm getting screwed in the arena really bad by higher level Indoraptors lately. Um, just in the, the Indoraptor mirror match, that kind of screws me over a lot, because... My Indoraptor, if you, if you, if you look at the leaderboard, and somehow I'm at... 100. Actually, no, I know why I'm there, I just lost one. Right before I came out. Um... Like, everyone else has higher level Indoraptors. I could click on any random person and they have higher level Indoraptors than me around my ranking. So I think Indoraptor is the one that's screwing me over at the moment. Okay, this person has a lower level on that. But that's really rare. Yeah, 27, 28, a lot of 28s. I've been fighting a lot of 30s. Okay, that's that's not near my range. But yeah, you get the point. Uh, Indoraptor is a problem for me. So. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw the new spawns yet, because there's something interesting going on with the spawns, and I can't really confirm it yet to you guys, but I don't know if you guys saw this news on, uh, I think it was the Ludia forums. I think that's where they posted it. I, I think they posted on the uh, Ludia forums. It was something about, you know, um, or I, th I forgot it was forums or... So first it was posted to Twitter about uh, Tubendactylus and Dimorphodon, the uh, Dimordactylus ingredients being more, more cited. And then something on the forums about something like, uh, you know, hybrid ingredients are gonna appear in the wild. And like for one week, it's going to be one ingredient. The other week, it's going to be the other ingredient. And this week was Tubendactylus. So if you guys don't know, Tubendactylus is a knight only global spawn. But for some reason, uh, they've been appearing during the day as well, globally. So I think that's what they're going to do. They're going to put Tubendactylus out this week and then Dimorphodon out next week. So people can uh, level up their... Or level up or create their... Uh, Dimor Dimodactylus. It's so this name is so hard. They're Dimor uh, Dimodactyluses. So that's that's what I think they're gonna do with that. And then, if that's the case, then what I found in during the data mine the a uh, few weeks or, or no a week ago about event dino spawns. My theory is that the event dino spawn rates are ref they refer to these. So there's event, common event, rare event, epic event, legendary, etc. So if that's the case, then every week's spawn rates are going to change. So I'm going to talk with Boone with uh, talk with uh, Boone about that and see if we could just every week post out a different spawn rate for each hybrid dino. This is all theory. Um, it's better to observe next week. Since, you know, according to the theory, it should next week should be Dimorphon. Because it's, you know, 
commons, they pop out more often and then we could kind of, sort of, compare the spawn rates and then maybe see if we could get the Dimorph Dawn spawn rates. Oh, by the way, um, for those of you guys who are confused by the spawn mechanics, do you guys need me to, uh, just tell me in the comments if you need me to do a, uh, another spawn guide video. I haven't done one for this patch yet. Um, I might have to wait until I settle this part of the theory so we could get more clarity on that. And I might do a, uh, spawn video, I guess. But, yeah, that's all theory. I have to wait for tomorrow, or Monday, I guess, to try to test the theory. And if it does work out, I'll inform you guys later. So that's all for today. Thanks for sticking around. Um, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.